So when we approach the bird, um, we try and get the chick some, somewhat away from the adults because they have really sharp and serrated bills. So when they grab you, they can tear and they can really make a deep cut. Uh, and they, they often go for the face too, so you want to make sure that you keep your face away from them. So the first thing we want to do is grab the head so we can control the head so they don't uh, get you with a sharp bill. And then uh, one of us will hold the bird down and the other person puts the band on the right leg. How many, approximately how many masked boobies have you tagged or banded in the last couple months? <laughs> Eight, many. ten? Yeah. About a little less than a dozen, probably, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, so the male and the female are, you can distinguish by the sound. So the male has that high pitched whistle, and the female is the honker. Yeah, we know who is the strength, don't we? <laughs> and the Laysan albatross chicks, the fledglings that are out here right now. And they are, you know, they were born in January, and well, hatched in January. So at this point, they're ready to leave. We're going to put a band on them. Um, that's so that we can look at distribution and abundance. We can look at a lot of things about their age, what, how long they're living. Some albatross, I think the oldest band uh, recovery we have is 42 years old. Some people think that maybe they're living to be 50, and I even think if you, there's a possibility that they live to be 60. So what we do is we restrain the bird. Um, they're not they they're babies basically, you know, and they're birds, so they're fairly fragile even though they're quite big. So we're gentle. We grab the head and the bill because they can bite. We grab the wings so that they're not fl flinging their wings all over there and, and tearing up their feathers. Their feathers are really important to them right now because they may fledge tomorrow and we really don't want their feathers for them to have to do a lot of work preening before they leave. So it's this banding this time of year I'm even more careful about the wings because I really want, you know, they've done a lot of work to get them in this shape and they're ready to go basically.